Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video on how to export EXR sequences out of Unreal and into DaVinci Resolve. I recommend DaVinci Resolve for the reason that it accepts EXR files. I actually use Vegas Pro for editing and it doesn't accept EXR. That's why I often suggest using ProRes because it's a second best option and it looks pretty good. Let's say you've exported your, you know, you rendered out your EXR sequence and now you want to get it into DaVinci Resolve. Well, we'll just come in here. I actually have DaVinci Resolve Studio but they have another version that's free that has the same functionality. DaVinci Resolve is a very sophisticated program. At one time I believe it cost more than $100,000 so it's incredible that they give it away for free. Anyway you should see something like an untitled project here and we're just going to go ahead and double click into it. It should go full screen on you. One thing to know about DaVinci Resolve is that is and it is laid out very logically. You see that you've got these buttons on the side so it starts with the media goes to cut, edit, fusion, color, audio, fairlight, and then delivering it. When it comes in though, it defaults on cut and you might be thinking, well, how do I get to the media storage? Well, there's a number of ways you can do that. You can just click down here where it says media. Or if I come back to cut, you can also go to workspace and go to switch page and do it that way. Or let's say you're back on cut, the default screen, you hit shift two, which is the hotcut key. So that's simple enough. Once you're on the media page, you simply go to the file where it's located. I put the XR sequence into this folder three. One thing it looks like DaVinci Resolve is doing new is it brings it in as a single, or it also brings it in as a, a full sequence. So be aware of that. This seems new to me. That's the, the initial first frame. And then this is, you can drag your playhead and see this is the animated one. So all you have to do is select that and then just drag it onto the into the bin there. Now just switch back to your default view here and now you've got it in your media pool. And then all you got to do is just click on it here and drag it down to the timeline. And then you've got it on the timeline. So if I hit play, you'll see that it's animated. I should mention that when you're exporting out of Unreal, you probably want to use the movie render queue and not the legacy. I notice that you don't get very good quality from the animation and you also have anti-aliasing features and other things in the movie render queue so you probably want to use the movie render queue but anyway this is how you get it in there and then it's pretty intuitive from here i mean there's a lot of tutorials on where to go from here but you basically have it in and then you go through each one of these phases of editing adding motion tracking color correcting adding audio and then rendering out but that's a full-fledged thing you gotta learn <laughs> So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care and I'll talk to you next time.